Does the word library conjure up images of nerds in coke bottle glasses, grumpy librarians shushing, yawning and dusty books? That was then. This is now. Library staff, I'd like to welcome you to the UWC Library and to congratulate you on becoming a student of this university. The video you're about to see will introduce you to the key services and facilities offered by the library. I'm sure you do realize that learning to use a library effectively will play a key role in achieving your academic success and I'd like to encourage you to take the time to get to know how to use the library. Please take advantage of one of the many hands-on training sessions offered or consult our online guides that are available via the library website. Finally, I'm proud to say the library is a place of innovation. We're constantly working to improve our services and would be very pleased to receive your feedback and suggestions on how to make the library work better for students. Enjoy the video. UWC's library exists with you at the center of its purpose. Library leadership has worked tirelessly to ensure that you get the highest caliber services in support of your studies. If you know how to make the most of the library's resources, it will definitely help you max out your grades. To assist you in getting your bearings, follow us on a level-by-level -level tour. As soon as you walk in, the first clue of how online up to speed this building is, is the Plasma TV screen advertising latest student news and updates. This ground level is level 5 and is where all the checking in and out happens, of yourself and the books. That's checking yourself in with your student card, not checking yourself out. Your student card will not only become your key to the library, but also to all printing and photocopying needs. To activate your student card for library use, the circulation desk is the place to go. This is also the desk where you check out and return your books. Friendly staff man the desk and are on hand for general queries and assistance. Just across the way, the short loan or reserve desk fulfills the same function for specific collections of books and articles, such as prescribed texts and photocopies of certain journal articles. Also on this level is a bank of OPAC computers. OPAC stands for Online Public Access Catalogue. Type in a title, topic or author reference and OPAC will search through its database of the entire library content and tell you on which floor and which shelf to find your desired book, DVD, CD or periodical. Your search can be as broad or narrow as you require. The system also has other tricks which you will learn about. For example, you can make advanced reservations online to guarantee access to a certain book on a certain date. On the other side of the floor, there's the photocopying room. Just load your student card with credit at the photocopy service desk and you're good to go. If you need any assistance, plenty of staff are available to show you the ropes. As we get ready to move on, you can't help but take note of the atrium on the right. This is a stunning space, often used to showcase displays and exhibitions relevant to the library or university. This gorgeously well-designed library has you take a nice gentle stroll up to the next level. No steep staircases in this building. It's learning made easy in more ways than one. At level 6, we come across the Knowledge Commons, or KC for short. The KC is a key zone in supporting and enhancing UWC's high standards of teaching. It is a one-stop shop where you have access to all UWC electronic resources. Here you will find 118 new PCs, laptop workspace, a plenty and a print room with four printers. Library staff and student advisors are on hand to assist you should you require help. There are also five meeting rooms for group study and discussion. To the right. The Fintana training room is dedicated to students who wish to build up their knowledge of computers generally or need further assistance in getting their heads around OPAC, databases or e-books. The Knowledge Commons also has a strong partnership with UWC's e-learning program. 
E-learning at UWC refers to the joint ownership and design of online modules, whereby the academic staff and e-learning support team places various study support materials within our homegrown e-learning system to enhance teaching and learning using technology. The online content can be further enhanced with video clips, podcasts and various e-tools such as blogs, discussion forums, e-portfolios, wikis and assessment tools. Every computer here is a portal into accessing all e-learning's online resources. It's a major way in which the library seeks to enhance your academic performance. Once you're up to speed with how good it is, there'll be no stopping you. Beware, e-learning is addictive. Last but not least, the information desk is here for general backups, support and queries. Level 7 is dedicated to books and periodicals related to economic and management sciences. It will be our blueprint to illustrate how each faculty at the university has its own dedicated section at the library. The faculty sections each have the same basic structure, facilities and staff. In true library form, all books and resources are stocked in an orderly fashion and are easily located with your reference from the OPAC computer. As on all levels, there are spacious study areas where you can immerse yourself fully in your work. Each faculty section also has its own faculty librarian based in offices such as these. The UWC library has nine faculty librarians who specialize in their respective faculties and will gladly assist you with finding the information needed for your various assignments. We also offer training on level 6 in the Tantana training room, so please don't hesitate to ask us for help if you need assistance. The same support structure of staff, resources and space exists throughout the library for each faculty. Some also have additional photocopying and printing facilities. Skipping up to level 10, we find the periodicals section. A periodical is anything published on a regular basis whether a journal, newspaper or magazine. The library has an extensive collection of periodicals and a reading room in hand so you can dive right on in. Because these periodicals are bang up to date, reading about the most cutting edge facts, theories and figures is going to be a huge asset for your assignments. References in your essays to recent findings will definitely impress. Skipping level 11, another faculty section, we reach level 12, the home of the special collection section and multimedia center. The Special Collections section has available for loan materials on Southern African countries as well as all UWC publications. In the Multimedia Center, the shelves are lined with multimedia gold. There are DVDs, videos, audiobooks and music CDs as well as access to online databases, electronic journals and e-books. You can also book your own personal booth, TV and DVD player to tune in and absorb. It doesn't quite get as good as popcorn though. For that perk, you'd need to book the DVD out overnight. I am the architect. I created the Matrix. I've been waiting for you. Oh no! Ooh. No, 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 no. Further up still is the Postgraduate Resource Center on 13. And on 14, one remaining faculty section for the super fit science students. Only kidding, there are lifts too if you're feeling lazy. So there we have it, levels 5 through to 14. And levels 1 to 4, I hear you ask? No, those aren't the dungeons where we keep our library staff. In fact, there are two lost zones down here worth taking note of. Firstly, on level 4 is the study den. This is a perfectly silent study zone for those times you may need to focus intensely without any distraction, not even a pin drop. Secondly, on level 2, but accessed from its own separate outdoor entrance, is the 24-hour study zone. This is a secure study area where you are able to pull all-nighters for those tight deadlines. <laughs> Don't forget the coffee supply and blanket. Last but not least, these levels incorporate the admin offices and specialist services such as archives and interlibrary loans which all go to making the UWC library a world-class operation. We hope our whistle-stop tour has shown you what a wonderful ally the library is in your learning experience. 
If you take the time to get to know it properly, your relationship with the library will undoubtedly be one of the most beneficial academic relationships of your degree program. I love the library because it's got everything I need under one roof. I love the UWC library because it's up to date with the latest technology. I love the UWC library because this is where the cool people hang out. Finally, we wish you well with your studies in your chosen academic program and we encourage you to become frequent visitors to the UWC library. We also hope that your study career with the University of the Western Cape will be a successful and fulfilling one.